Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kay and this is my favourites and fails of 2019. So, gonna start off with the fails because I feel we should end on the positive sort of side of things. Um, and I'm just realising that I've got a few items all from one brand, which is unfortunate. But I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but I don't want to focus too much on the fails. Um, basically, these are just things that, as I was going through my things to find out my favourites, I sort of came across them and went, oh yeah, I actually really, really hated you, didn't I? So I've just sort of pulled those out. Um, and then, like I said, th there's only a few of them. And then we'll get on to the, the good stuff the stuff that actually worked for me later on so uh, uh, the other thing that I want to mention is that not all of these things necessarily were released in 2019 some of them may have been around for a little bit longer um, but these are all just things that I've tried in 2019 or I've sort of gravitated towards in 2019 that uh, that I've either liked or disliked um, so if you're thinking wait a minute pretty sure that didn't come out this year yeah you're probably right it probably didn't but it's just what I've been using or not using as the case may be so uh, let's get into it the first thing I want to talk about is this so this is the Revolution Pro oh, I've got a little bit of a mark on the top there this is the Revolution Pro eye elements um it's an eye primer and this one's in the shade core now i had it on good authority from lots and lots of youtube people that um this was a really good dupe for the mac um paint pots now i can't speak to that because i've never tried them but all i can say is is that if this is a good dupe for the mac paint pots i don't want a mac paint pot i hate this stuff hate it I think it's just not my kind of eye primer just to put things into perspective and I'll talk about it a little bit once we get into my favorite but my favorite eye primer is actually the um, eye primer potions from Urban Decay so they're completely different things completely different um but i'd heard such good things about the paint pots and that these were really good so i tried it and you can see i've sort of like tried it a few times and then just gave up it's thick it's sticky it just grabs every piece of eyeshadow makes everything really hard to blend it's probably user error not gonna lie but uh, hate it also from makeup revolution i heart revolution somewhere under the revolution banner um there is the chocolate bar palettes so um again beginning of the year i went a bit crazy i decided i was going to try a lot of things from makeup revolution specifically eyeshadow palettes and i thought the chocolate bar palettes looked really pretty and they are really pretty and some of them smell really nice fake smells but they still smell nice um quality not so great um not all of them i found to be terrible but i just find that the color fades down a lot um it just doesn't last very long um but by far the worst chocolate bar palette i tried this year was this one so this is the galactic palette and uh, i was i was sucked in i thought wow they look really cool i really like these they look beautiful they look really interesting i loved these marbled baked shades they just I was like oh, definitely gonna give that a go and I gave this palette a good go I used it like solidly for a month probably throughout the whole of the month of February to be honest um, and decided that I was never gonna use it again 
and it got shoved to the back of the drawer and there it has stayed ever since i just i just don't get on with it the colors just they look so pretty in there but everything turns to gray it doesn't matter what colour you use, it could be this lovely bright pink here, it could be this blue shade here, doesn't matter, it turns grey. So if you only want to wear it for about an hour, go for your life, it's great. Any longer than that, do not expect it to be the same colour as when you first put it on. Just don't, it won't happen. Awful, awful quality. Um, overall i don't hate revolution eyeshadows um i think for the price that they are they are really good quality um but this one was just the one that stood out as being quite bad um one that i actually do like and it's not my favorite palette but i actually really really liked it was this one so it seems a bit sort of childish and like kids makeup um but actually it's really nice so this is the i heart revolution dragon makeup pigment palette um and this is the shades i haven't used it an awful lot i've probably used it a couple of times but in comparison so much better there's more color payoff the um shades last longer um my favorite shades are these sort of two you've got this one here and this one here and i sort of swatch a bit like that's just really really easy to pick up you don't need to sort of do a lot with them it's just in comparison to the galactic palette just amazing quality really really good quality um again for the price really good and this was like dirt cheap i can't remember how much but certainly less than 10 pounds definitely um so don't hate the brand <laughs> just don't love quite a few of the items that i bought this year um and it's it's purely because i just bought so many things um it was just unfortunate that i didn't get on with them i bought a lot of them sort of all in one go uh so I kind of had them before I realised that I didn't really like them. Moving on from Makeup Revolution, we've got this. I've lost the lid, but it is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. Just do not like this. I just don't. Um, it, it just, it's really just feels like you're smearing grease all over your face i don't have the box anymore so i don't know what the ingredients are but i suspect that it's heavily silicon based heavily um and whilst i don't mind silicon based primers this is just on another level it's just so i, I don't even know if i can convey it on camera but i mean just, actually yeah look at that look at that it just looks like you've just squeezed out some silicone onto my hand and it just it's just so it's slippery it's slimy it just doesn't feel good i just i just don't like it i've got it on my hand fingers and i just i can feel it it's just ugh. no no i need a wipe yeah so it just no absolutely not i do not want that i don't even want it on my hands i definitely don't want it on my face just no next thing i want to talk about is a lip product and that is this from maybelline now i actually think i bought this in 2018 um sort of towards the end of probably about november time but um I didn't really use it an awful lot until sort of beginning of this year um and oh it's just not good it's a really pretty color let's see if i can dry my hand off a bit so i can show you it's it's a really really nice shade um 
are just it just does not react well with my lips it's got another end as well it's got a, like a, a balm end and uh, I've sort of tried using a different balm with this if you use if you use this end on its own it it dries down for me it's just it's too dry I don't like it that dry so I do need some sort of balm with it so I was pleased that it came with a balm but whether it, it, it's just the fact that it reacts to a balm or whether it just reacts to my lips I don't know but it just goes thick and gloopy and it just doesn't feel nice it just it just doesn't I just don't like it I've tried it several times I've tried it several different ways I just don't get on with this product at all it's the Superstay 24 color and this one was in the shade delicious pink so it is delicious pink it's just not delicious on my lips so that was that and the last thing I'm going to talk about for my fails was this from SA now you can probably tell from the bottle that it's probably a little bit past its best um so this is the treat love and color strengthener and it's sheer version of this in the shade number two tinted love i don't know whether this was already going bad when i had it and that's why i don't like it or whether it's just gone bad fast or whether it's just supposed to be like this i don't know I've tried it several times um, I bought it to strengthen my nails but to also have some sort of to sort of have that look that I'm wearing something on my nails um, I just I put it on and within a day it's like peeled off and I'm not talking chipped I'm talking peeled just doesn't stay on your nails long enough to have any kind of effect and again and again i don't know whether it's the product that was bad when i bought it um or whether it's just bad just a bad product i, I don't know but it just no not for me so that was the last one of my fails well standout fails I've tried not to talk about anything that I've already mentioned in other favourites and fails videos there's probably a few things in my favourites that are going to be sort of repetitive um, but fails wise I've tried not to sort of delve too much into that like I said I kind of wanted this video to be a bit more positive so moving on to the positive um, got lots and lots of stuff here so we're going to so we're going to start from, um, I think the best way to do this is just to start from the way that I would put makeup on and this is all makeup, there's no skincare or anything in here. So, um, first thing is a primer and something that I've sort of, I bought it, used it once or twice, put it away, forgot about it, I've been using it again recently, um, is this. So it's the NYX, oh, there, there we go, NYX Angel Veil. So good, so good. Um, it's kind of getting on a bit. I need to use it up, um, which is partly why I started using it again. But in doing that, I, I sort of realised I actually really like this. Out of all the primers that I've got, this is the one that, I probably gravitate towards the most if I'm looking for a primer I'm kind of going mm, which one shall I wear today if I can't decide I generally just pick this up because I know it's going to work I know it's going to work well for me it's going to work well under most of the makeup that I've got so yeah this has been my sort of favorite primer of 2019 discovered sort of early and then again quite late in 2019 but still a favorite it's been my go-to um, next would be a foundation I've actually got two so the one I sort of tried first and fell in love with is it's by no means a new product it is the um, Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation 
um, and this is in the shade 4.5 which can be a touch too dark for me depends on how pale I'm looking at the time um, but I can generally make it work for me really really like this foundation it's just so nice it just I put this on and if I look at myself in a mirror throughout the day I'm generally looking at myself going oh doesn't my skin look really nice today I don't really use foundation to cover up anything I tend to just sort of use it to even everything out give myself a bit of a sort of flat base if you like for for everything else that I use yeah, so it's it's not what you'd call a full coverage foundation but it is buildable and you can get sort of that medium to full sort of coverage so yeah love this um if I've got a day where I just want to have a good makeup day from the off I don't want to mess about I need my makeup to look good this is probably the one I'll go for followed by followed by this one oh come on so this is the Umar or Oma I'm never quite sure how to pronounce it but it's it's the Uma Beauty Say What Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation which sounds a bit sort of contradicting soft matte hydrating kind of sounds like it shouldn't work but it really does it really does um, again if I want a flawless skin day this is the one I go for again buildable coverage just really really like this foundation I know I think I, I know I've mentioned this in a favorites video I know I did and there's a reason that I'm mentioning it again because this has been my other go-to foundation this has been the one that I wear for work if I just if I just don't want to think about what foundation I'm wearing um, but I don't want to sort of use my expensive foundation then this is definitely the one that I will go for I'm not saying that they're dupes for each other, not at all, um, but I just love this and I love that there's different sort of qualities depending on what shade range you're going for. So there's there's another range with purple caps, um, uh, I can't remember the other colours, oh that's really bad, but they've all got different um, cap colours depending on which sort of skin tone you're in, whether you're light, um, whether you're fair, light, medium, deep darkest deep um then you know there's a different sort of shade range for everybody and each shade range has got different properties in so this one i think it tells me somewhere yep so this one has got um a grape extract in and it says specifically formulated for fair skin so yeah they sort of tailor the the ingredients to the skin tone to sort of combat any issues that that certain sort of skin tone might have so and i just think that's really really good i think it's such a, a new and cool idea i really want to try some more things from this brand this year because this foundation and i'm going to get on to the next thing in a minute has just been really really nice i've really enjoyed using it i'm really glad i found it um yeah i know they also do eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks um so i'm keen to give those a go but so far all i've got around to trying is the foundation and the concealer which brings me to my next favorite and that is the uma beauty concealer i don't actually have it with me right now i'm really sad i don't know where it is I've lost it I've not been able to find it for the last couple of weeks and I have been mourning its loss I know it's only concealer I know it's only makeup but I love love the Uma Beauty concealer love it I've got, um, mine is in the shade mine's the one with the pink like the pinky purpley cap um it's the white pearl range i think it is so it's for like really fair skin but i tend to use the concealer as a brightening concealer rather than as a spot concealer um it's just so nice it doesn't crease it doesn't make my under eyes look crepey it 
just it does what I want it to do and it's effortless it blends really well it just sinks into the skin it just looks like your skin and that concealer combined with this foundation I've had so many comments whenever I've done that um, people asking me what foundation I'm wearing because it looks really nice on my skin it makes my skin look perfect um, so yeah concealer by far that is my favorite concealer so again that is why i'm keen to try some more from this brand because if those two things are brilliant i'm keen to see what else they can do well at next we've got um face powder setting powder baking powder whatever you want to call it now i've got two um both of them are what you'd technically call baking powders but i don't really do baking um, I just use it to sort of set my under eyes really occasionally if I feel like I'm getting a bit oily I'll maybe touch up with it but I tend to just use it as a setting powder mainly mainly for my under eyes um, and the first one that I tried that, that I really enjoyed and have just used throughout this year is this one so it's the Huda Beauty it's the Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder and it is in the shade this one is in the shade pound cake um if you don't like scents you probably won't like this it smells to me it smells amazing but it is heavily fragranced i've actually knocked this upside down at some point in the last couple of days so there's a lot sort of sitting in the top but if it will focus Okay, on. but there's like a net underneath so you can just sort of pop your sponge or brush in and it sort of comes up through the net you can knock it out onto the lid if you need to but yeah i've accidentally dropped this at some point and there's quite a lot is now there's quite a lot is now just sort of sitting in the top so i'm gonna have to be a bit careful whenever i open that um love this um again i love the fragrance but that's not the main reason um it doesn't sort of sink into my line fine lines it doesn't make my eyes look crepey or old um it's just a really nice setting powder really glad i found it will continue to use it um i just really enjoy using it but i've also discovered um this so this was a sample so it's not the full size version but this is the beauty bakery um flower powder yep flower setting powder um so it's just this is just the little tiny part and let me just see oh again you've got to be careful because it's all trying to spill out everywhere but this is in the shade oatmeal i think no oat mini sorry so i'm guessing the mini is because it's the mini but it's it's oat we'll, we'll call it oat um so again, I use this um, as a setting powder for my under eyes. I don't really use it for anywhere else, um, probably because it is just a mini and I kind of want to make it last. I've used it quite a lot over the last few weeks and I just I love the way it sort of sits under my eyes. Um, I've, I've just, I just really like it, really like it. Um, I've tried a few other powders this year, um, most notably one from Cover FX. I had a little mini, I, I liked it, so I bought a bigger version. I haven't really used it because I've had the Huda Beauty one and this one, and I just gravitate towards these more than that one. I just prefer it. So that is those. So next we've got bronzer. So my absolute favourite bronzer this year, without a doubt, has got to be this. So it's the Too Faced Natural Lust bronzer. Um, packaging is just, mm, oh, I just I love it. Absolutely love it. It's so pretty, and I really love that that peacock um, design is sort of on the inside as well so this is what she looks like and you can see i've like all of this was all this sort of um leaf work design is sort of embossed into here and it, it's gone it's it's gone you can sort of see there's like a rose pattern sort of if you look really really closely but 
yeah it's it's, it's pretty much gone um lovely color really love the color um i love that you can sort of swirl your brush over both parts of it and it gives you sort of a, a glowy sort of bronzer but not glittery it is literally just like a sort of lit from within sort of bronzy glow i really really love that effect um didn't think i would want I, I i wanted to try it so i bought it but i didn't really have high hopes for it and absolutely fell in love with it and i'm pretty sure i've mentioned this in a favorites and files video as well um but i love i love that you can swirl your brush and get that glow or you can just use the bronzer part and have a nice matte sort of look going on really really nice i love that it's got a whacking great mirror um really handy love the smell it's like a coconutty smell it's kind of fading on mine now but oh, i just i just love everything about it i just absolutely love it um and i've found that this has been the bronzer that i've wanted to use more again i've got a few bronzers that i've sort of had this year um i really like the fenty one i've got mine in the shade in the sun i think yeah so here it is i really like this one um mine is in in the sun um and i have used this one you can see i've started to do it eat into the the logo there but i, I do like it but i just find that i go for this one more often so without a doubt my favorite for this year okay so next we've got blusher um and the, um, this is a bit this is going to sound a bit weird because whilst this isn't my sort of preferred go-to color of blusher i really like this formula and i'm really and I'm really hoping that I can get um, a couple of other colours from this brand. Um, but it is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duos. So when these were first, in fact, the whole selling in the UK thing for these is a bit of a joke. I really, really hate that the information about these is just well, it's non-existent. Let's be honest. But these came out in America first. Um, which you know fair enough i think they're an american brand so whatever um i saw them i saw reviews on them i fell in love with them they are so so pretty um so this is the one i've got so just just look at it it's so beautiful um so this one is in the shade sweet sweet mulberry this is the darkest one it was literally the only one I could get my hands on at the time. So, like I said, they came out in America. There was no real news about when they were coming out in the UK. And I went on Beauty Bay one day and, oh, oh, there they are. Great. I'm going to get one. I was intending to get Sweet Peach or Pink Dahlia. Um, but they were out of stock, as were the other two or three shades that were available that are in this line um literally the only one i could buy was this one um i'd already sort of had my eye on this one because the color is just i, I mean the color's just stunning whether you're going to use it as a blusher or an eyeshadow or whatever that color is absolutely stunning and i fell in love with it so i was gonna get this one whether i could get the other shades or not but as a blusher i really wanted to get the other shades couldn't get them ended up just getting this one i've been trying and trying and trying to find out when these are coming i've been constantly checking beauty bay and other um retailers that sell cover effects to see if i've got them in stock yet they never have beauty bay recently had them back in stock but by the time i realized they were in stock the two shades that i really want to get my hands on already out of stock i'm not bitter i'm not bitter come on beauty bay get your act together get some more so that i can buy the shades that i actually want to wear as blusher um in saying that i do wear this as a blusher it's just it's just 
it's just really dark these are so pigmented that you have to go in with a light hand and i think even with the lighter shades i would have to go in with a light hand but with this i literally just have to go boop, and i've got enough i've got plenty so i love this blusher i love this blusher i love the formula i just want the other colors but yeah all my other blushes i'm looking at them going yeah you're pretty yeah you work for me but i want i want this one next we've got highlighters bronzers blushes highlighters yes um so <sighs> highlighters I've, i really struggled with this one i really struggled to find something that sort of was an absolute standout wow sort of product and i just i just don't think i've really found it this year the closest i've come has been this so it's the by terry brightening cc powder so it's it's technically not a highlighter but you can use it as a highlighter um it's it's a brightening powder it's quite shimmery it looks like this on the inside smells quite heavily of rose fragrance so again if you're not into fragrances this won't be for you but i really enjoy the smell i really enjoy the product i do use it as a highlighter and i do enjoy the effect it gives it's not in your face sort of highlight it's kind of a lit from within kind of glowy sort of thing which you know for most normal everyday things i do quite enjoy um and i've also used it to sort of buff things out if i've gone a bit heavy handed with the bronzer or blusher then i do use this to sort of buff it all out and sort of tone it down a bit it also gives you a nice sort of all over glow and so i do really enjoy this product and i do enjoy it as a highlighter um but highlighters wise i just uh, i'm still looking for that wow sort of product I've got my eye on a couple of things I want to try for 2020. Um, I really want to try the Nabla highlighters. Again, I, I think they're more for a sort of lit from within kind of glow. Um, but the Luna Beauty highlighters actually look really interesting as well. And I've heard they're a lot more sort of in your face, bam, you know, you can be seen from space kind of highlight. And, and occasionally, just occasionally, I do want that. I really do um at the moment if i want something more in your face i tend to gravitate towards this one which is the laura geller um baked gelato swirl illuminator and this one is in the shade diamond dust um but it is it is in your face i mean like I, you can see that there's a shift to it it's shiny there's a shift if i put it on my finger you'll be able to see it a little bit better i think yeah so it's got that sort of white sort of pinky shift to it it is beautiful it is absolutely lovely um but i have to kind of want to glow a lot if i'm wearing something like that which I, I like i do like it but i just i want to try something a bit different next we've got eye primer um as i've already mentioned my absolute favorite formula is the urban decay um primer potion um i'm not actually sure um so again i can't actually find the one that i use most of the time i think what's happened is i've gone to the brother-in-laws and put them in a bag to take with me and then i've forgotten what i've done with the bag i don't even know what bag i'm looking for i'm so disorganized it's terrible um but yeah i think i think what's happened is some of my favorites have kind of meandered somewhere so i'm hoping i find them soon because i really want to use them again really want my concealer if nothing else um but my yeah my favorite is in the shade eden i don't even know if they make that anymore i've got a funny feeling they don't my my um potion is actually probably a little bit past its best but it still works so i still use it don't come for me but in the meantime i've been using this one 
which is in sin um this one is definitely not my favorite um it's a bit too shimmery for me i don't like that that sort of shimmery eye base i'd rather it was just sort of a plain color which eden is it's like a nice it's kind of like a nice light sort of color like i said it's it's my favorite it's my go-to um as and when it runs out if i can't get that shade again i don't know what i'm gonna do but but yeah when it comes to eye primer that has been the one that i've gone for the most i'm just really annoyed that i can't find it right now to actually show you what i'm talking about um but anyway moving on to steal yourselves guys we're gonna do eyeshadows so it's been a big year for eyeshadows well for me at least um i've bought a lot i've tried a lot i've liked a lot i've not liked a lot i've loved a few i don't even know where to start all of these things they're all from brands that i've never tried before until this year um but once i have tried them i've just i've fallen in love and i couldn't pick just one palette I just couldn't do it. I couldn't pick just one palette. I couldn't pick just one sort of set of single eyeshadows. I had to pick a few because they're things that I've just gravitated towards throughout the year. They're things that I've gone back to. They're things that I use for different reasons. So this video is going to be so long. I'm so sorry. If you've watched up until this point, well done. But we've got a way to go yet. Um, <laughs> So, without further ado, so the first thing I want to mention is this. So, it's the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. Absolutely stunning. So, it is the only Juvia's Place palette that I own at the moment. I don't think it will be by the time 2020 is out. Um, absolutely love it absolutely love it when i was looking to to buy one i thought i'll try one see how i get on if i like the formula i'll probably buy some more and this was the one that i was just drawn to the most so again i don't think this came out this year i think it came out probably last year year before i'm not sure but this is uh, but it's it's new to me um absolutely love it if i want a colorful eye look but I don't want to think about it and I don't want to sort of spend more than a few minutes applying it, this is what I go for. 100% this is what I go for. It's just so easy to use. It's really easy. It just blends really well. I just feel like I can't mess up my eye look when I use this. I love this yellow. I love this orange. I absolutely love this um, sort of turquoisey colour down here this is just stunning and vibrant purple just again quite bright and I just find that I can use any combination of these colours and it just it just works and then we've got oh my oh gosh I'm going to drop them we've got these so these are from Kaleidos Makeup and it's the Futurism collection um, so Earlier in the year, they released the first three, the Futurism 1, 2 and 3. You've got the Sci-Fi Green, Cyber Bronze and Astro Pink. These are fabulous. I was really keen for this one. And honestly, up until now, it's still my favourite, even with the others. But this is the Astro Pink one. So you can see I've sort of used and abused this a little bit. Um, if I want to use these palettes, this is generally the one that I tend to go for. It, it is my favourite out of all of them. Um, but I've got to mention the others because the, the formula on all of them is just, it's amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Packaging is just, it's stunning. Like I don't know if you can see that it's got that foiled sort of detail, just sort of running through it it just sort of feels really nice um and all of them have that sort of aesthetic to them um this was this is another one that i'm sort of drawn to quite a lot mainly because of that red 
um so that is just absolutely stunning um but i was actually most surprised that i enjoyed the sci-fi green one as much as i did green has never been a color that i've been drawn to um but this palette has absolutely changed my mind when i first bought these three i genuinely thought i was going to be this one was going to be my favorite I was going to like this one and then this one was kind of just i might as well have the set but i didn't think i'd get any use out of it i've used it more than i thought i would i've really quite enjoyed it and it's because the formula's so good the formulas the formula's just really good the colors are amazing i love the shimmers let me just do a little bit of a swatch for you to see what i'm talking about so so you've got um so in the astro pink one you've got this pink here um, and then this is my absolute favourite right there and that is, oh hang on, and that is, so you've got pink and that one and you can see it's got a shift to it, I'm terrible at swatching um, and again it kind of looks grey under the light but that is definitely not how it looks on the eye um, let me just put a bit more on the finger so you can see it a bit more it's just a stunning blue to sort of pinky purpley sort of shift it's just it's just stunning um i've just dug my finger into the black that's fabulous the, my favorite out of the bronze one as i said is this red and that looks like oh come back looks like that so, oh it's just so pretty and that that's on there come on and that's that one okay so this one you've got this greeny shimmer you've got a goldy shimmer and you've got this green matte here and i go oh sugar got one two and three come on so that's just those they're just so pretty I'm back into focus I just oh they're just so beautiful and I never thought I'd be the kind of person that would love green they then released these two now i know i think the first three are like permanent in the collection but these are limited edition so you've got the um four and five so this one is the vr neon and you've got the electro turquoise and i knew which one i'd prefer out of these um but again i've been surprised by the other one so this is the one that i knew i wanted just <laughs> i remember opening the box for this and it literally took my breath away i literally gasped um this oh let's try the other arm so you've got the um like it's like corally red i suppose you've got this orange and then you've got this oh this gorgeous pink and it's got like a goldy sort of shift to it so the mats can look a bit sort of chalky and powdery and you can't really see the shift on that pink one it's sort of like orangey goldy if you can see that um but let's just you've got it's the red and the orange and the pink just <laughs> this palette just got me very very excited about colors um and i'm already quite excited about color um but the day these palettes arrived i'd actually got to go to work and uh, i wore this palette i did not care how bright my eye look was that day so yeah really 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 enjoy using this one um but i haven't worn it so much in the colder months it just it screams summer to me does this one so I've, I've not worn it a lot in the last couple of months but absolutely stunning and then the last one is the one i'm actually wearing on my eyes today and this is the turquoise one 
um, love the orange, love this shimmer and this dark teal colour is just mwah. So let me just see if I can show you some of that, make sure I haven't got any red or anything. I'm a little bit pinky stained from the uh, neon one but hopefully that won't affect anything too much. So you've got orange, it's alright. I'm not showing it very well I might so we've got orange we've got the shimmer and you've got the teal okay so again mattes can look a bit chalky on the finger you <laughs> see where it stained me on that last one but this shimmer is just absolutely stunning um so you've got got the orange and then you've got the oh, where am I going and then the teal and that focus there you go and that is that it's just that shimmer so yeah so that's that's what I'm wearing today um but yeah was quite nicely surprised by that again it was sort of a not a throwaway palette as such but it was one that I sort of bought as part of a collection my mom was really interested in the sci-fi green one so I bought um a three palette bundle bought the two new ones and the sci-fi one for my mom absolutely love love Kaleidos makeup eyeshadows they've recently brought out some lipsticks and highlighters really keen to try out the highlighters the lipsticks I'm I'm curious I think if I buy the highlighters I'll probably pick up a lipstick or two just to have a look and see what the formula's like um, but the highlighters just look so cool um, they sort of shift to sort of weird colours um, and they're really affordable so we'll definitely be checking those out at some point in 2020 um, but those are the palettes um, and then we've got my single eyeshadows which if you've been watching my channel for a little while now you may have guessed what they are so they are the Cleona Cosmetics um, so these are the stained glass multi-chromes I already know I can't do the shifts justice on camera but I did post a photo to my Instagram um where i've sort of got the mirror sort of propped up and you can see the shifts in the mirror a bit better so if you want to go and check that out feel free um but i think my favorite shades have got to be um so there's this one here and this one here they're probably two of my favorites what else let's just see oh and then there's this one here as well and again i'm looking in the camera and that last one looks green in the camera it looks purple from where i'm looking at it they're just oh, so that is what they look like on the fingers and you can oh, the, you can see the shift actually a little bit on that one so it looks like a bluey sort of color and then pinky purple over there but, oh, just see if i can do anything with that for you a little bit you can sort of see it a little bit can't you but they're absolutely stunning and i'm just going to try and i can't get rid of that lipstick that one and then that one oh oh there you go there you go there it is i know i've raved about them before i can't help myself so honourable mentions are the other shades from Cleona, um, they do other, um, they do matte shades, they do duo chromes, they do shimmers, they don't all look like that um, and in that stained glass collection, it, that stained glass collection is massive, they also do pastel multi-chromes, glitter multi-chromes, just there's so much, so so much, um, I've also got things like this from them this um this pinky shade right here is one of my favorite go-to's if i want a pinky shimmer that's the one i go for the most and i think that is in the shade bonbon yep bonbon that's how often i use it i know what it's called and there's these and i've had a little bit of an accident with one of them by the looks of it so 
this shade here has kind of um, got a little bit carried away with itself and uh, exploded a little bit I think at some point I'll try and fix that later I've recently moved all my palettes around so I've probably clonked the palette a little bit too uh, hard at one point um, and then you've got these so I'll list all of the different bundle types um, in the description box for you I know this one's the Harvest Moon bundle and this is a highlighter that they sent me um, it was basically when I ordered the stained glass collection the order took so long for them to ship because they've got so many orders going through at the same time they actually sent me the highlighter as a bit of an, a bit of a sort of a apology and thanks for your patience and, and all of that kind of thing so that was really nice all of the collections I've had stunning pretty gorgeous love them but standouts for me have got to be that stained glass jeweled collection absolutely fabulous love them the only thing i will say about cleona is um that you can only get them from the cleona cosmetics website they are based in canada um shipping i think i, I think if you order over a certain amount shipping is free or it has been when I've ordered anyway. Um, I know I've not paid, I know I've not looked at the shipping costs and gone, no way, like I have done with um, a few things from America. Um, but customs, oh God, you get hit with customs with these and it's 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 not pretty. Um, so that's sort of a testament to how much I love these. So yeah, I don't love the customs. I really don't love the customs but I love these enough to pay it so I have heard through their Instagram that they are looking for international sellers um, they are aware that customs here is ridiculous um, so they are looking to try and find some sort of retailer in the UK or in Europe at the very least um, so I really hope they manage to do that but in the meantime if there's something that I want from them it's not going to put me off getting them so yeah okay so done with eyeshadows <sighs> let's move on so now we've got eyeliner um and i don't really wear a lot of eyeliner um but one that i do use quite regularly is this from pixie and it's the eye bright liner in the shade nude um that's what it looks like um so i just use that on my lower waterline just to brighten things up a little bit um i used to have a white essence liner but i actually find that a nude works a lot better than a white does um it sort of brightens without looking like i've tried to brighten it just looks a bit more natural basically um so yeah that has been something that i've used a lot will continue to do so um mascaras i've got two so i've got the hourglass caution extreme lash mascara um this is just a mini beautiful beautiful mascara if i want my lashes to look um longer this is the one i go for i've had this a little while now i need to try and use it up before it goes bad um but yeah tried it loved it keep going back to it but I also discovered this this year and this was quite recent um, so it's the NARS Climax Mascara and this is just a little sample size um, I got it from the Feel Unique sample service I got another one as well actually the same way um, I love the brush on this it's chunky but it's not too big for my eyes can't stand massive brushes on mascara ones I just, I've got small eyes if you give me a massive brush i can't actually see where my eyes are anymore so i love small brushes but this is this is a chunky small brush love it um love the formula this is what i use if i want volume if i want some length and volume sometimes what i'll tend to do is i will put this on for the length and then volumize up with nars so that's mascara we're getting there guys we're getting there lips lip liner my go-to has been my mac lip liner in boldly bare uh it's just 
a nudie sort of colour. It's sort of pinky, so it goes well under pinky lipsticks. It's just a good all-rounder pencil, and I find that I do sort of use this one quite a lot. I've had quite a few lip liners this year through subscription boxes and things like that. Um, so I've sort of dabbled a bit in the others, but I find that I always want to come back to this one. So that's my favourite lip liner this year. And lipsticks. And again, I couldn't choose just one. So I've actually got three brands here. Probably the first one I discovered this year that I really liked with these from Suva Beauty. Um, I got four or five colours. However many I got, these are the two that I use the most. So we've got Imagination and Strange. Um, this is just so bright and vibrant, but it's just beautiful. Um, and this is just a really lovely pinky colour. Um, they're what they call the Moisture Matte Lipsticks. So they sort of have a matte look on the lips, but they're not sort of transfer proof so they just they just feel really comfortable on the lips basically they don't feel sort of drying or anything like that they're just really comfortable to wear so we've got strange is that one and then we've got imagination and they smell fabulous they um they sort of smell like vanilla so i just kind of want to eat them whenever I use them. That's that one. Focus, there you go. So that's those two. So again, discovered Silver Beauty really early on in the year. Um, I quite like the eyeshadow palette I had from them, but it's really hard to get hold of them. You sort of have to get them from their website. And Customs is just, it's not pretty. Um, but they've started selling um, the lipsticks, the hydroliners, and the um, liquid glow drops they've started selling those on beauty bay this year so they're those things are a lot more accessible now so that's cool so the next brand of lipsticks that i tried and loved this year again not new to this year but new to me this year these are the Too faced melted matte lipsticks now these are a bit more transfer proof than the silver beauty ones they last a little bit longer again they're just really comfortable really comfortable to wear um so i've got the shades queen bee and cool girl queen bee is the one i gravitate to the most um it's that sort of more of a pinky color which is there and then cool girl is more sort of a brownie sort of colour. So that's that one. Um, so yeah, love those. Similar reasons to the Suva, really comfortable, um, but they just last a little bit longer than the Suva. And then I've got this one from Gerard Cosmetics. So I'd heard a lot about Gerard Cosmetics but I'd never actually tried anything so I had a wedding to go to in August this year and I was sort of shopping for some new makeup for it and decided that I would give um, one of these a go. I also got the lip liner in the same um, shade. This is in Cher, C-H-E-R as in the singer. Um, the lip liners the same shade and you can see I've got a sort of type of colour going on here um, and that is that one so it's a slightly sugar so it's a slightly different tone to the others but it's just a but it's just a stunning colour I just absolutely love it um lasted a really long time again dries down to a matte finish but again super comfortable so at the wedding I wore it all day um that was from sort of about probably midday till about midnight um, I think I probably touched it up about twice and I was doing a lot of eating and drinking during the day so the fact that it, I only had to touch it up a couple of times really really good so good staying power we'll definitely be trying out some more colours from that brand in 2020 so uh, yeah and uh, 
we're finally at the end so if you've managed to last this long i applaud you i bow down to you i am forever grateful um i hope you've really enjoyed watching this i'm assuming if you stuck around this long that means you did so if you've got any thoughts or feelings or comments about anything i've talked about today um what are your favorites what are your fails um drop a comment in the box down below for me um and that's it then um so if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all again in another video very very soon thanks for watching